Okay, it says up to how many turning points can f of x equals x squared minus x to the fifth have? Okay, so the formula for the number of turning points is it's always uh, n minus 1 turning points, where n is the degree. So for this one, my degree is 5. So up to how many turning points means it's not going to have exactly that many turning points. That means it could have n minus 1 or less turning points. So the answer up to how many turning points can you have? You're going to do 5 minus 1 equals 4. So that's the most it could have. Now it could definitely have less turning points than that, but that's the most it could possibly have. So it's going to be 4. Now going along that same idea with turning points, we have this one. Which of the following can be a degree 3 polynomial? Okay, so first of all, for polynomials, polynomials have to be continuous. There can't be any breaks in it, and there also can't be any creases or corners on our graph either. And we also have to make sure that it has the correct number of turning points for what it is as well. So if we take a look at these different examples, these different graphs here, we're looking for degree 3. We just mentioned before that when you do turning points, the most turning points it can have is going to be your degree minus 1. So that means that for a degree of 3 polynomial, I cannot have any more than two turning points, 3 minus 1. So this one is, is uh, not going to be the right one. This can't be a degree of 3 polynomial. The reason why is because the turning point is where the graph actually changes directions or something happens to the graph itself. We have 1, 2, 3, we have four different turning points there. So that can't be a degree 3. It's got too many turning points. The most it can have is going to be 2. The next one. This is not considered a polynomial either because there's a break in the graph. We've got an open circle, then we have a closed circle here, so it means it's, it's discontinuous there. There's a break in the graph, so therefore that can't be a polynomial either. This one has a crease in it. We have a corner or like a peak that it comes up to, so because it has that corner, that corner right there, that's called a cusp. So if it has a cusp in it, that's not considered a polynomial either. So then we have this one. Now this one has smooth curves. There's no breaks. There's no corners in the graph or creases. We have one. We have two turning points. That's going to be fine. Uh, degree 3 means it has to have no more than two turning points, 3 minus 1. So this one does fit. So that would be the one that would be a degree 3 polynomial.